Welcome middle schoolers to episode number 22. For today's lesson, you'll need a water bottle, a spatula, four sock balls, a small trash can, and some space to move in. Press the pause on the video to gather your materials and then come back when you're ready to go. All right, middle schoolers, let's get ready to warm up our bodies with a little follow the leader. Do what I do, have some fun. We're gonna start with some big arm circles followed by shoulder circles and then elbow circles. Arms, shoulders, elbows. And let's bring awareness to our breathing. Make sure you're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. All right, let's do some figure eights. Keep those hips moving, the knees soft. And let's switch to the other side. Nice figure eight motions with that arm. And now some knocking on the door of life. Make sure that you're breathing. Don't hold that breath. All right, let's take it down to the ground. We're gonna do an exercise called a bird dog. So check those wrists, make sure they're under the shoulders. We're gonna extend one leg and one arm out. So opposite arm and leg are gonna extend out. Really try to reach through your fingertips and reach through your heel. Look straight down at the ground, try to keep your neck in alignment. And this is a really good exercise for your posture. And next, let's move into our kneeling step outs. Step and reach. I like to coordinate my breathing. I like to breathe in as I come back and exhale as I reach out. All right, now this is an interesting move. We're gonna sit cross-legged and then we're gonna reach one hand behind us and we're gonna move into what's called downward facing dog. And then we rotate back into a cross-legged sit. We're just going to repeat this motion over and over. When you're in the cross-legged sit, feel free to reach forward, get a nice stretch, and then put one hand behind you and then twist into the downward facing dog. wondering who's on my socks. That's my daughter, Cece. All right, we're gonna go into now what we call a dead bug. So we're gonna reach one hand back and we're gonna reach the opposite leg out. Really important to keep your lower back flat on the ground here. All right, we're gonna move into some hip raises. So we're gonna plant our arms into the ground. We're gonna rock back, knees up towards the chest and then try to lift those hips up in the air. Let's transition onto our stomach. So we're gonna do some flying super people. So we raise our arms and our legs in the air at the same time. We're getting some nice strengthening for our back. Try to keep your arms and legs as straight as possible. We're just gonna hold for a few seconds and then release.
All right, let's wrap this up with a little bit of Cobra. Looking over each shoulder and then push back into child's pose. Take a nice deep breath. Great job with your warm up middle schoolers. Let's get ready for the riddle and then the daily dose. This week's riddle, what vegetable is the most fun to be around and the one that everyone wants to hang out with? The answer is coming up at the end of class. For today's daily dose, we're gonna play true or false fitness. There are gonna be 10 true or false questions. You'll see the question come on the screen and then you'll perform the exercise that goes with your answer choice. If you think the answer is true, then perform the exercise that goes with true. If you think the answer is false, then perform the exercise that goes with false. Then after 35 seconds of doing the exercise, the answer will come on the screen and then we'll repeat that. Have fun.
This week's food rule, eat the food you love and love the food you eat. All right, it's time for smash it, scoop it, flip it. Make sure you have your spatula, your four sock balls, and then your small trash can. All right, if you need to pause the video to grab the materials, go for it. Now, what we're gonna do is smash it, scoop it, and then try to flip it in the trash can. Smash it, scoop it, and flip it. If you make it in the trash can, it's worth one point, and if the trash can knocks over, it still counts. Smash it, scoop it, and flip it. All right, so what I want you to do is practice Make sure you're not too close, not too far away. If you need to pause the video to practice, go for it. Otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get ready to play a one minute challenge where you're gonna try to beat me. All right, so we're gonna put a minute on the clock. We'll put on some music and let's see how many points you can get in one minute. All right, I got four points. Nice job, middle schoolers. All right, it's time for our mindful minute. Go ahead and get into a seated, comfortable position and enjoy the jellyfish video. If your mind wants to think, let it think. Or if you wanna to decide to let your mind be still, then let it be still and enjoy the calm music and the jellyfish. This week's brain tattoo, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And this is a quote by Albert Einstein. 
our journal prompt this week. Write a letter to a friend or a family member and mail it to them in the actual mail. People love getting mail. All right, it's time for the answer to the riddle. What vegetable is the most fun to be around and the one that everyone wants to hang out with? The answer, fun guy. I'll see you next week for episode number 23.